A Hollywood superstar, Michael Caine, has dubbed him the next Andy Warhol, and he has celebrities clamouring not just to purchase his portraits, but also to commission them. British painter Lincoln Townley has had a meteoric rise to the top of the art world, and now he finds himself in Australia. Lincoln Townley, welcome to Brisbane. Oh, thanks, Karina. How do you feel about that comparison to Andy Warhol? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's quite an incredible mention from Michael himself. Uh, yeah, Michael knew Andy, and uh, I think that the way that I go about my work uh, with regards to the, uh, the commerciality of it, I think that's where he sees the, the similarities with the way that I do the portrait as well, in like a pop art style. So, yeah, but it was a great honour, yeah. You've painted so many celebrities. Who's been your favourite and why? Oh, Michael's been my favourite. I've painted Michael now nine times. He actually has got uh, each one of them himself. I do like a, a run of five prints per portrait, so I have the collections in the galleries and they, you know, and they, they, the galleries seem to really love them as well. Six years ago, you were a nightclub promoter in London. You've had no formal art training. You also battled addiction. Did you ever imagine you'd find yourself here now, being a successful artist? Um, well, I, I'm going to say no, but I did, I did have a belief that my sort of determination would get me some notoriety in the end, because I'm, I'm full of passion to make my art work, and I think that's really important for artists to have that. Lincoln, the collection you've brought with you to Australia is called Surprise. It includes your famous icon works, but then it also includes some of your other work, which is darker and moodier. Can you yeah. explain? Take us through the collection. Yeah, there, there's a contrast in my work. I mean, this piece here, so this is the, the risk taker, yeah? And I think that anyone that's uh, at the top of their game in any genre, whether it be creatively or, you know, entrepreneurial, uh, they need to take these risks. And I think this is where the darker work comes through to become the icons. And tell me about the art establishment. You're certainly not a darling of the art establishment. Uh, why is it that they've been reticent to accept you into their world? Um, well, I think it's. I think they don't like change, and I think I have a lot of. I use social media very heavily. Um, I have very non-exclusive agreements of all the galleries that I work with. I don't think it's the. It's not the nature. I'm very into the commerce side of it as well. I want to make money from the art so I can make more art. That's really important to me. And I think that the whole point of it is. I think that the art world don't seem to understand that things do need to change. I think that a lot of galleries are very stuffy. The galleries that I use are very open-minded. You know, they want to enhance on all the things they do, social media and those sorts of things, everything online, and I think that's the way it's got to go. Lincoln, earlier this year, a portrait that you did of the late Diana, Princess of Wales, sold for more than $1.6 million. Did you ever imagine that you'd have that level of commercial success? Um, yeah, I did. I did, yeah. I think that um, the way that I was progressing, I knew it was going to happen. But the sort of piece of work that the Diana piece falls into, which is a very sensitive portrait, it took us a long time to put this together. And uh, we used, we diamond encrusted the piece, we used some precious jewels on it. So I wanted to really lift the piece to make it that it was going to move into that sort of uh, you know, price bracket. And we already sort of knew we had an American guy that was interested in it who lived in Mayfair and New York, and he wanted it for his New York apartment. So we actually spoke to him about it beforehand, and he actually then did snap it up, and it went within, like, minutes of us releasing it. But it's, uh, it's great. We did five um, prints of that piece as well, which one went to uh, a charity in London for the homeless, which is supported by Will and Harry. So it's, uh, it's something that's combined into a, into a charity, you know, lead piece as well. And that's important for you to give back? Absolutely. I love giving back. Um, BAFTA, within regards to working with them, I've worked with them for three years, the money that I've raised has raised record funds for an outreach project that looks after kids that want to get into the creative arts. So that's an amazing thing as well, you know. And so it's all to do with looking at what, what the, the, the storyboard is, you know, sort of moving right the way up now to what I can give back into, you know, give, what my art can give back into community. OK, well, Lincoln, we love having you here in Brisbane. And you can see Lincoln Townley's exhibition Surprise at the Brisbane Powerhouse. It runs until October and opens on Thursday.